again will I be taking an overnight bus. But we got to Budapest in one piece, got an Uber, which was definitely illegal with how many people we had. But anyway, I think that's just the thing they do. And we went straight to the thrift store actually to pick up some outfits for our festival that we'll be going to later on this week and tried to put some outfits together, which kind of failed. Guys, this is just so I know where the dot is. Welcome to Arts and Crafts with Tash. Oh, <laughs> yes, Jamal. <laughs> Why does it look like boardies? <laughs> no, they look like boardies. <laughs> they just look like boardies. And then there's just... Just make them like mini. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, no, it kind of works. <laughs> Tasha's still at those shorts. Day one outfit I was to get. Um, <laughs> this is my best one yet, guys. <laughs> That's um, the outfit. You don't think it's downhill from here. <laughs> And then there was this bag that we saw in the vintage place. I think we perfect for the festival. Did I tell you we're going to a festival? It actually starts today. It's called Suget. And we're just going for three days. Anyway, I need to go back. So we'll be picking that up on the way back. Oh, wow. postcards but I don't know what I'm actually going to use them for if I'm going to put them up on my wall or actually send them which I really should to my friends and family but anyway they're so cute um I got oh actually this was first I got this denim skirt for literally 75 cents euro like that's insane and I literally wore it for the rest of the day it fits low waisted so I'm gonna like wear a little belt this is like for the ziggette fits and I don't have like a denim skirt, so it's like literally perfect. And then I get magnets from every country I go to. I didn't get one in Croatia, which I'm so annoyed about. But how cute is this one? It was one euro. And there's so many cherry things. So, not cherry, chili. So I got that. <clears throat> and then, lucky last is actually the best thing. Um, from PSTR. Got this in tickies bag which will be perfect again for the festival it wasn't that expensive but compared to like the 75 cents skirt i was willing out a little but that's okay i think it'll be worth it like i didn't have any small bag to take to the festival so very needed um and if it's like it's actually pretty big so i'll, I'll be able to fit like my portable and phone and id and everything else in between but anyway Okay, I'm very happy with my purchases of the day. And then we went to this really cute pub called the For Sale Club pub. Um, had the best bagels, basilica. It was just a great day. So, anyway, would recommend food so far. First day of Sazeg. Oh, look at this probably only going down from here so <laughs> I appreciate it and then I got these um like 10 euro shoes so I'm gonna get them ruined but it's fine you know Let's 
today and I am not because I didn't get the ticket for today. Very long story about that, I am very silly is the moral of that story. I booked the wrong ticket and did it for 8th, 9th and 10th. Most people in my group did 10th, 11th, 12th. Some people, thank God, um, got the six day pass so I went with them on the 8th. Didn't go yesterday, I'm kind of glad I didn't. Then I'll go tomorrow because I booked a single ticket. Anyway, it's quite stupid of me. I spent way too much money on this festival and this apartment. Like, and then I spent 16 euros on a vodka lime yesterday. I think that is absolutely criminal. Anyway, I'm currently cooking myself some pasta. Literally all I've consumed this week is cornflakes and pasta. I was gonna go out and explore. But I also like cannot be bothered. I can't wait for the debrief of the girls. I'm honestly glad I'm not going. Because they were all like struggling as they were like getting ready today. Power on soldiers. I am cheering you right from my couch. Okay, water is boiling. I'm gonna see you guys later. Maybe I'll be doing something more exciting that I can show you guys. Okay, well this is my night. Don't mind the like literal grass carpet. Like I don't know what's going on there. This week has been so whack. In lots of good and interesting ways. At the beginning of the week, I was like really, really worried, honestly, for the anticipation of what would occur. But I mean, it hasn't finished yet. But I've had a great 
just a very different week to anything I've done before, you know. Seven nights with seven other people, boys and girls, people I don't really know. I'm gonna look back at these past few weeks with a lot of fond memories. And I think at the beginning of this week, I was like, just really kind of not homesick, but just wanting to like, be in a routine and I definitely am looking forward to that but I'm also like at the stage where I'm like not leaving tomorrow but the next day and I'm just like feeling a bit of like nostalgia for the last month and dread to like leave this and like this chapter behind um because it has been so special and definitely one of the books I always say that but um yeah and I hope I get to do things like this in the future Anyway, some random thoughts for you on my Sunday evening, actually. The days are just not real. <laughs> like, what? The first day I was here, we did so much sightseeing. We literally walked around the whole city and be like, oh, we got to, like, pace ourselves because we've got the rest of the week to, like, sightsee as well. One new thing since then. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't been the best vlogger, but... And I like put a lot of pressure on myself to do that, but then I just get very, and honestly just stress, <laughs> not wanting to do it in front of other people, because no everyone knows. I feel like a raver girl. You look like it. Day Last days to get. Let's get it. Fred again. Chaos. Chaos. I know. Last day, babies. <laughs> Yeah.